Hi, I'm Laura Murray, and I'm one of the artists currently exhibiting at the North Museum of Nature and Sciences Steam Gallery. And today, I'm going to show you how you can make your very own little animal sculpture at home using polymer clay, tin foil, and toothpicks. Many of the artworks I currently have on display in the galleries are in part made of polymer clay, which I sculpted, baked, painted, and then essentially glued onto the painting. Polymer clay is an amazing material. It's super malleable and allows for a wide variety of textures. It's a safe, non-toxic material, and it's available at almost any arts and crafts store. And best of all, it's super, super cheap, usually around just two or three dollars. So for this particular video, we are going to make a small mouse. Um, the mouse is going to be made of the sculpting material like we discussed. This is the material. It's really awesome. Um, but for the body, we're mostly going to use tin foil because the really cool thing about Sculpey is that um, you can save the material by using tin foil as the main part of the body. Because ultimately you're going to take this sculpture and you're going to put it in the oven and bake it and that's going to make the sculpture hard. So it'll, you know, last forever and you can then paint it or I don't know, turn it into jewelry or something. It's a really, really cool material. So I'm essentially just taking this um, tin foil and making it into the rough shape of a mouse. Very, very rough shape of a mouse. And I'm gonna take some open Sculpey over here, break off a little bit, and I'm just gonna start covering the tin foil with the Sculpey. And then we're gonna add a little tail. And by adding a tail, all we're gonna do, we're gonna take a little bit of this Sculpey, make like a rough tail shape. We're just gonna roll it between our hands. And tease it out. There we go, it's looking more like a tail. gonna attach it by just kind of like pressing the two bits of clay together. And to make ears, I kind of do this fun thing with a pencil sometimes, where I take the end of a pencil, I wrap the Sculpey around the end of the pencil, just to kind of give it like a uh, circular shape. And I take that, put it on the head of our mouse. I just use my finger to kind of rub the clay into each other, get it nice and connected. You can even use the sharp point of the pencil to kind of help press the clay into each other. So you don't need, you know, expensive equipment to have fun with this clay. All you really need is a pencil and later on some toothpicks. I'll show you why. Okay, and let's give him just a couple of little legs. Again, we're not going to get terribly detailed because, you know, not everybody wants to get super detailed with their, their mice sometimes, but not all the time. Little feet right there. Looking so cute. Okay, and then we like pull out a little foot here. Just squish it. You can use the pencil to kind of like adjust the details. You know, get into the little crevices that you can't reach with your fingers. It's really starting to look like a mouse. So we got two back legs, let's just give two tiny little front legs. Super, super simple shape. Just gonna make kind of a cone. 
and then put a bend for a foot. Attach it just like that. Mesh the clay into each other. Okay. Now we got the face. So this guy just needs some eyes. And I'm going to show you a trick I do for eyes. I just take two very small bits of clay and I make little circles out of them. I'm going to pop them right there. And then I'm going to take the pencil and I'm going to put two little holes where the eye should be. I'm going to make the holes kind of big. And I'll show you why. Because now I'm going to take the clay I'm going to push it into the hole. Oops, I should have made those holes bigger. Hold on one second. This looks kind of morbid, but I promise it's going to be cute in a second. Oops. There we go. got two cute little eyes and now that we're gonna get into the teeny details I am gonna whip out my super fancy toothpick so we're gonna give this guy a little mouth by just going like this and like this now it's got a cute little mouth and you can use the end of the toothpick to add little details like fur. Again, this material is really, really cool in that um, it can handle a lot of tiny, minute detail. So you could take a toothpick, you could take a sewing needle, um, you can really just like experiment with all sorts of different household materials you have at home to create texture in your clay. Hey guys, so we fast forwarded a bit and I uh, finished adding the texture to my mouse which is currently baking in the oven and what you're going to do is you're going to bake your little mouse or other woodland creature, whatever you decided, at about 275 for about 15-20 minutes and then you're going to take him out of the oven. freshly baked mouse here so cute and there you have it uh, now you have your own little mouse once it's baked it's hard to the touch and if you want you can even paint on it using acrylic paints and uh, you can also maybe create a little home for it here are some pictures of some artwork I have up in the galleries at the moment to give you inspiration for a little home you could make for your mouse If you'd like to see more photos of work, you can follow me on Instagram at Laura Murray Art, all one word. Thanks so much for watching.